back and I am going to show you the ultimate cave base design you've ever seen in Rust. Here we go. You go into the base. Bam. You can put shotgun traps down. I just didn't. You have your drop off box. You keep going in. I've put some rugs down but you can put more. In this little bottom bit you got a turret. You got your little lights here. Like so. You got your furnaces, another drop off box, your another furnace and this one here, the tier one. You go up to the second floor. That's where the magic happens. You can use whatever you want here, but what I usually do is just wall it off. So you can have a battery or uh, just whatever you want to use for the electrics. You, you know what you use. So I've put mine there because I'm using a test gen. And I have some lights set up. So here's the lights that go round. Open this door. This one here. You've got your mixing tables. You can set up your furnaces. Your uh, smelting methods. And you can put some more stuff. Your bedrooms in here. You've got some of your electricity here. Like some of these ones. You can do whatever you want with that really. Uh, you can hide them somewhere else. But I'll just put them in here for now. You can hide them down on the bottom floor if you want. It's probably ideal to hide them on the bottom floor. So these are usually put on the bottom if you're on a PvP server. I'll just put them there now because it looks kind of nice. You have your level 2 there. Another lantern. Two more lanterns here. And you just go through here. You got your lights. You got your nice red one there. You go down to the next floor. You got your tier 3. More turrets. More lights. You go along here. You can have some more loot boxes or whatever you want to do here, guys. Some more turrets. You got your casual stuff here. Your two lockers. Fridge. A little loot room there. You got your loot boxes there. You go through this way. You got your sleeping bags in the main core. The loot room. You got your TC your box rooms two uh, turrets on each other side just guarding it really the best it can you can have shotgun traps in this base as well you can scatter them everywhere you also got your bad bee here you can put your food in there you got your switch there what i'd probably do guys is i'd probably put the electrics down here you know them um these ones here the electric branches if you put them on this wall it's more secure because the turrets because otherwise they they are going to know there's turrets down here and they'll just break them but on a pvp server that's where i'll put them or if you're feeling like it you can put them out here because nobody's ever going to look out here unless they raid it and you can't really jump down here unless you do some glitch and shit because it's the way out and most likely you're gonna die from that fall <laughs> so yeah that's it guys that's my uh, ultimate cave base design and it is one of the best on probably youtube for any server so if we look in the tc the upkeep is completely nothing easy peasy you can have it on official server modded server any server you want to play on and this is it not many people raid base caves either, so it's quite nice. Nice and cosy. Nice and cosy, put it that way. You can modify it, roleplay it, whatever you want to do with it, really. But this is uh, the ultimate design from Mackie Minster himself. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you an ultimate cave base design that you guys can use when you build in a cave or if you want to become a caveman. So, if I do the building first and then I'll show you the step two after with placing everything in the base. So, let's get to the building. Here we have it. Your foundations are laid out. This is just going to be a um, way out, and this is going to be the way in. So, you put your doorway down, however you want your doorway, usually I put a single door down. It makes it look very unique and it makes it fills in the gaps as well a bit better than the double doors. So that's how I have my front door. Then you have your walls like so. You have your airlock here, your first airlock. 
Then, this is where it gets interesting, guys. Usually, I put my wards down like that. This is going to be a little furnace room here. So, you have your airlock. You run into the base, your furnace room. Here is going to be either your workbench or you can have lockers in there. Then, you're going into the main base. So we'll roof that off, which I am going to do now. You have your jump up here, you go up to the second floor. You fill in these gaps like so. Have this, turn that round. There we go, jump straight up, crouch, round. Like so, this is your main loot. So what I usually do here is I have this, like this. This you can have there, but I don't really use it, use it. You have your back door there. I don't know whether I can fill that gap in. I don't think I can, but I'm not too fussed about it really. So you have your TC. Now, what I usually do, guys, is I always put my TC in this corner here, but I do it a particular way. So, you upgrade this to sheet metal, because it's your TC room. Then you slap your TC down there, and you put a window here. And as well as this little frame here, because this prevents, so say if uh, somebody destroys your TC in the bag, uh, the little loot bag, it goes there, so people have to blow through it. So you have your TC there, let's put a bit of resources in there for now. Upgrade your foundations to metal, like so. This one you don't really need, I'm just going to roll that off like that, there we go, that's much better. Right there. Then, the thing is on this one, you can either have your jump down here, which I will try out now, which works. So that's where your jump down is going to be. upgrade all this I think the best way is to do for this foundations here you don't have the walls because you want to keep it with the um, theme of the cave so what I tend to do is I fill in these gaps like so so just put like foundations there it'll fill it in there we go you can put them here as well before you put the wall down you just have a wall here because it's your airlock. Then, what I tend to do after I've filled in all the gaps, like so, I usually tend to have this as my jump up. This is going to be like um, a room here. That's like that. Here, you just put a wall. Then you have a um, door there, door there, but they're going to have to be single doors, guys. So whether you've got armor doors or uh, sheet metal doors, just because, I will show you now, you can have the code lock, set the code to what you want. But you need to open and close them. So if I remove this one, so say if I remove this, and I put a garage door down, which there's garage doors here. I'm going to show you now, guys. You can put the code lock on this one, for example, and it opens. So you can use uh, the garage door on that one. 
because you can open it. And on this one as well, you should be able to do it on this one as well. Like so. So you can have whatever door you want, but usually I'll put armor um, doors here just to make it look pretty cool. Or you can have garage doors. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Right. So. I am going to put my single sheet metal doors down, but obviously if I add armor doors, I'll put the armor doors down. Put your code locks on. Do your codes. Just makes it look very nice, really. Here, what I tend to do is I usually place a two single walls. One there. And one here. Make a bit more of an airlock to go down. Now, this is when I usually put the carriage doors down. So, bam, bam. Type in your codes. Have it how you want. Like so. There we go. Then you've got all this free space here. Usually, I would um, put a window here. Like so. A doorway here. And this room here, guys, is going to be your ultimate bedroom. So, if you've got two beds, you put two beds down. You got your locker room, which you put down here, like so, however you want it. So you got your bedroom there, you put a window there, just so you can see out. Then what I tend to do is I have my mixing table. I slap down a mixing table here. I use a repair bench and I usually slap this down in this corner here and put a research table down there as well if you want guys you can put an auto turret or whatever you want really you got your level two level ones level twos and stuff so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna upgrade the rest of the base Alright, there we go guys, we have that. So, for your tier 1 workbench, what I'm going to do here is I am going to pull it down right there. In your third airlock. So you have your single door, bam bam. Code. You have your two garage doors like so. There we go. This room here, what I'm going to do now is I am going to put a quick locker down. So you got your locker. And then you can put your furnaces in this room here. Which I am going to make three furnaces now. So one, two, three. However you want them really. Your locker down there, your tier one. Here you can do any sort of traps, but I usually put an auto turret down. You can move your level one. I don't think I want it there. All that there. So what you can do here, guys, is you can put your level one down. So you have your level one there. Then what you can do is you can have a look, an extra furnace here, guys. There we go. Can I get this level one back in? even more there we are your level one extra furnace three furnaces here which i am gonna quickly try and put a bit neater so your one furnace your two and your three there we go your doorways code locks on your doors or if you're a solo player, you can use key locks. Say it's the metal. But this base designs for anyone. Solo, just enjoying wipe. And then you go along here. And this you can set up as electrics and stuff. Which I am going to put a um, loot box down here. 
Hmm. Where can you do this? Can I have that facing like that? There we go. Um. You can have a box here. A little drop off box, I suppose. There we go. Put your code lock on it, wherever you want to use it. And. I suppose. You can have something else here. Which, let me um, quickly put this tier 3 down in the main loop. So you go down here, main loop room, tier 3 straight ahead, like so. Can I make a drop? What do you need? Metal frags, I need to learn it. Okay, okay, okay. So, you have auto turret. Oh, auto turret there then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a wall down put a door this way your main loot's gonna be guys so for this I tend to go bam bam there we go four box loot room for your first one so you put your four boxes down, however you want. And the same for this one, guys. You're going to have your boxes down like so. For this one, it's going to be a bit more difficult. I am going to place a box here, like so. And what you can do here is... You can have a small storage box facing like that, and then one more, and you should be able to loot the back one. Then, if you've got garage doors or whatever you're going to use, you can place them. Um, not garage doors, uh, coffins. But I tend to put a one of them down there, like the Barbie things can jump on loot your TC still and auto turret there also another auto turret there you have your garage door on there like so and the garage door on that one like so one on there this is your main loot room guys you want to keep that in mind. One there. Single door here. However you want to place it. Or you can have a double door. It's totally up to you guys. But I just prefer single doors. And you got a lot of room here as well. So. I am going to put down. A garage door here. Oh. Okay. Why is it not typing my code? There we go. Bit of lag. Some more garage doors down. And you've got all this space here, which I am gonna do a little loot room here, like so. There we go. Then I am gonna make this into another box room. So. For this one, you can do it like this as well, guys. Have your box down like this. Bam. Then you can have another one up here. Move that. Place your walls back. Place your door frame there. Put your garage doors down like so. Code locks on each. Like that. Another one here. So you have your garage door there, like so. And this is looking pretty cosy, if you ask me. So, what I am going to do is this is going to be your main beds. So, you have your two bags down here for if you're player of two or how many you ever you want to put down. Then in this room, you got your box storage rooms. 
and what I tend to do is I tend to put down some single boxes on them like so there we go you got your loot storage in here you can have a locker at the back like that and as well as a locker you can probably put down a fridge in here you can put down a fridge anywhere here really but what I am gonna do is I am gonna pick up this locker I'm gonna squeeze this fridge down there then I am gonna have the locker down here there we go guys that's not bad your fridge you can loot there your locker there you can do whatever you want with this room it's totally up to you guys as I said before but with this one what I tend to do is I tend to have two lockers in here there you go two lockers and for this one is really anything you could pick your level two down um, let me think you can have a repair bench research table more lockers more storage it's totally up to you guys small box underneath there like that and for this one what i tend to do is i tend to have either small boxes like so one more small box small boxes like so or you don't want it like that you can slap down a uh, small box here just fill it in correct there you go your small box following a large storage box next to it put your code locks or whatever you want on it there we go create some more loot room space and if you have coffins on your server you can do your coffins however you want put them to the roofs you can put them up here as well like that there you go extra storage if you've got coffins but not many people will have coffins it's usually only for halloween so we'll keep them like that but if you do you know how to deal with your coffins obviously you can slap down a another auto turret around about here there you go have your auto turret there and then your shotgun traps when you have your shotgun traps can go down but i shall go and get some in a little bit here what can i do here here you can have some more mixing tables and stuff or you can put some more lockers and stuff down do your electrics electricity and stuff here as well if you want to do some electrics your bedroom there you can have whatever you want there sleeping bags there you go and round here you drop off loot have a little drop off loot here repair bench mixing tables whichever you want really down here you got your furnaces your entrance and your exit if you want to exit out the front of the cave your turret your little thing that you can do here we go straight up little cool thing you can put lights up electricity lights which i might do in a minute and i'll show you the after design this is just for when you want to get started slap down a quick base and you're not going to be on much here you can do whatever you want you can have more storage loot here which i'll show you guys a base tool when i've put down everything here you jump up here oh jump up here loot your tc bam bob's your on it uncle fanny's your aunt upkeep 3k metal a day completely nothing 3k metal upkeep then when you upgrade to hkm it'll be a bit, bit more of hkm but that ain't bad 
You can have this on a Fisher server, you can have it on a modded server. 3k metal is not bad in my opinion.